So this is a video on how to determine the direction of a moment. Now, as you guys may or may not already know, a moment can either have a counterclockwise direction, and that is considered a negative moment, or a clockwise direction, which is considered a positive moment. Um, moment is also considered torque, so that's also a little thing for you to know. Now, let's start off with a simple moment problem. So let's say we are taking the moment about point A due to force B. And force B is a hundred newtons and this distance is six meters. So as you know, moment is force times distance. So for this situation over here, our force is 100 newtons and our distance is 6 meters. So if you multiply that out, that would be 600 newton meters. And that, as you guys can uh, obviously tell, is the unit of a moment. It's going to be a force times a length. Now, here is what you guys came to this video for. How to determine the direction of this moment. Is it a negative moment? Is it a positive moment? Is it clockwise? Is it counterclockwise? This is a little trick that I devised when I was learning physics back in my freshman year. And here's what I like to do. I like to go to the point that the moment is being taken about and drawing a little pretend wheel around it. Excuse the ugliness of the wheel, guys. And then I like to imagine that my force is pushing down on that wheel, the same side that the force is on, and I like to imagine how the force would move. To basically show you what I'm talking about, here is a pretend wheel where my point is, and my force is a downward force on the right of the wheel. So if I were to push downwards on the right of the wheel, the wheel would turn, as you guys can see, clockwise. So that means I have a clockwise moment or a positive moment. Let's do another quick example. Excuse this. Let's say this is my point, this is the distance, and this is my force. So let's say this is a 500 newton force, and let's say this is a distance of 2 meters. Basically, you know that moment is force times distance, so your force is 500 newtons, and your distance is 2 meters, so we got the easy part out of the way, so you know your moment is 1000 newton meters. Now, how do you get the direction? We'll draw our imaginary wheel around the point, and we will apply our force on this side of the wheel since it sits below the wheel, if you'd like to consider it like that. So if you have a force pushing this wheel this way, you will have your moment going this way, which is a counterclockwise moment, or as we had said before, a negative moment. Uh, a little word on the negative and the positive moments, that's just convention. Sometimes problems will say that the clockwise moment is positive, some will say that the counterclockwise moment is positive. You need to keep an eye open for that. So that's all it. Just use the wheel trick, guys.